everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me for a Welcome to Night Vale inspired craft. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Night Vale library, summer reading program, book bag. You can find links for all the materials you will need for this project in the description below the video, both on YouTube and at craftymcfangirl.com. Download the pattern from craftymcfangirl.com. You will need a plain white or ivory tote bag, cardboard that fits inside the bag, and paper to protect your work table, red acrylic paint, liquid fabric medium, and a paintbrush, printable iron-on sheets, scissors, and an iron and ironing pad. Start by ironing your tote bag so that the fabric has no wrinkles. Insert a piece of cardboard inside the bag so that the paint will not bleed through to the other side. Also, make sure to cover your work area with some scrap paper to protect it from the paint. Don't be like me, do this before you start painting. Now you're ready to start working with your red paint. I mixed a bright red with a darker red to get a deep blood color. Add fabric medium and mix well. This will turn your acrylic paint into fabric paint. It also makes the acrylic paint a little thinner and easier to spatter. Next, brush red paint onto one hand and make a bloody handprint on the tote bag. Drag it down and smear it a little bit. Next, use the paintbrush to create blood spatter. Fill a brush with paint and spatter away. Here's where I realized I should cover my work surface. Better late than never, I guess. Don't forget to use the brush to add bloody edges and corners to the bag. Then flip the tote bag over and repeat the process with the other side. This side will be the front of the tote bag, so no big handprint will be needed. Keep the center of the tote somewhat clear. Just add a little spatter and blood around the edges. Let the paint on both sides dry completely before continuing. Once your paint is completely dry, it's time to print out the pattern you downloaded. Print it out on a piece of iron-on transfer paper. Use scissors to trim around the edges of the design, leaving a half to a quarter of an inch border all the way around. Place the transfer upside down in the center of the tote and iron it on high. Make sure you iron it really well, but keep the iron moving so that the decal doesn't start smoking or burning. Let the paper cool and check one corner to make sure the decal is well adhered to the fabric. If it's not stuck down well enough, iron it a second time before trying to lift the paper, and then let it cool. Once the transfer is cool to the touch, remove the paper slowly and carefully to reveal the design. Then remove the cardboard. This tote bag will show everyone that you're a fan of Welcome to Night Vale, and that you're one of the lucky few to survive this summer reading program. crafting with me today. Enjoy your book bag. If you liked this craft and you want to see what's coming next, don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to see more Welcome to Nightville inspired crafts, check out the playlist that I put on my channel. Also, if you are interested in Welcome to Nightville inspired jewelry, check out my other website, geekymcfangirl.com. I help lots of Welcome to Nightville inspired designs for you to choose from there. Thanks and I will see you next time.